today, we're going to move into our next. It's a featured tour with some information involved. Now, this person told me I could do whatever I wanted for his introduction. That is a dangerous game to play, um, but I will I'll keep it cordial and nice. Uh, Jason Heimbach is going to be our next presenter. Jason is in Reddings, California, Southern California-ish. No, mid, mid, I wouldn't say Northern, it's mid-ish. Mid I don't know. You don't know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, Jason is kind of known for collecting Mary Music Makers, Pirates, he likes Black Stem stuff. He kind of just goes down rabbit holes, and I think we love him for it. And we're going to have Jason show us what he wants to show us today. Ball is in his court. We're going to pin him right now. And unmute him. If you are you able to? Yep. Nope. Okay, Jason, you're you're live. Okay, I'm a little nervous, so <laughs> bear no with worries. me. I'm no really worries. bad talking in front of people. It's no but... problem. There's you're just talking to to me on Zoom. There's not anybody else there. Bye. <laughs> no, but uh, I am in Redding, California, which is actually Northern California. It's about oh, I know. Two hours from the <laughs> border. <laughs> I'm probably so, mixing it up with Redlands. I'm mixing it with Redlands. Yes, California. Redlands yeah. is in California. Yeah, yeah. But and you're uh, wearing a Florida hat just to confuse us all today. Yes. <laughs> That's the point of the gators. Yeah. Rough but, day. Um, Rough day for the Gators. But a little bit of my backstory. Um, I started collecting Pez about. 30 years ago, but just like anybody else, I um, basically went to dollar stores and just started whatever I didn't have, I started collecting, getting more and more. And then I kind of went away from it. I was living in Southern California and then moved up to Northern California about four years ago. And that's when I found these Facebook pages, which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> I don't know. But my collection went from within four years, probably about 800 to about 3,000 to 3,500. Yeah. And um, I started collecting Mary Music Makers about a year or two ago. Um, which is what I'm going to be talking about today. And the reason behind me starting to collect those, I kept on collecting the different sets and I was finishing them all. I got the sports ones. I got Hell Kitties, the Funky Faces, a little bit of everything. And then I asked a friend and asked him, what should I start next? And he said, why don't you go after the Mary Music Makers? Which, what, if you're a perfectionist, is a dangerous rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. I literally have about 213 different Mary Music Makers, all different variations. Holy smokes. And there's still, there's still other ones that I don't have, like the harder to get ones. And... I'm going to basically show you right now, like different variations, the actual variations and the story behind some of them. And let me turn this around and I'll show you where the hell is my, there it is. <laughs> Here. And these are all my Mary Music Makers. Wow. There's basically, I got the major, the main ones. Which are the there's a the rhinos, you got the penguins, pandas, clowns, got the dogs, ducks, tigers, Indians, pigs, roosters, koalas. My favorite is the monkey. Got love mm -hmm. monkey. In the back, got some lambs. Um, got some more of the other ones, the same ones. Got the rhinos. And now I was told I'm supposed to talk for 25 minutes. I don't know if I'll be able to talk that long, <laughs> but 
I'll try well, we'll see. <laughs> Just go over the things you want to go over. And as people ask questions, um, we'll relay them to you. And you'll be surprised at how much time that fills. But like Bill said, he, he's a, he likes different variations. So this could be a little bit dangerous for him. Because I'll start with the penguins. If you look at the hats, there's different shades. You got darker reds, light reds. Also got, um, where did I find them? Got long beak ones, which I don't know if you can really tell, but usually comes on a blue head. Mm -hmm. The other ones are all black heads. But there are, I've seen some short stem, short beak ones that have blue heads, and I've seen some long beak ones that have black heads, but I don't have those ones. So if anybody does, I'm in the lookout for them. Yeah, um, you can see how noticeably long that nose is compared to the normal one. Yeah, sometimes on um, if you look on eBay, it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah. A few, the shape of them are different. Yeah, it looks like it turns up a little bit more than the short one. Yeah, and if you get used to and stuff, you can, by looking at pictures, you can probably tell better. But the one I found out that has like the most variations, if you look at the donkeys, there's a light gray head, dark gray head. Got all the snouts, white, light pink, darker pink. Like everyone has a different shade of snout. Um, I got the, you got the duck. I don't know if you can tell the left one's a darker brown. Mm. A little more pricier than the light brown one. Um, and now, when you're looking for a variation like that, like a light versus dark brown, are you kind of taking a stab in the dark on eBay or on Facebook, or are you, um, you know, is that something you have to buy in person? Sometimes I buy I buy lots, and if they have them in there, I compare them to mine. If I don't have it, I keep it. Right. But one I can definitely tell. Like sometimes I ask the stem because a lot of these have like different stem variations you got like 3.9s 4.9s hungary austria yugoslavia you got some that are jugoslavia and then just sometimes i take a shot in the dark yeah and one of the clown variations we have is, uh, without knocking all these over you can tell the eyes. The ones on right are stencil. The one on left are painted on. They're usually mm -hmm. crooked. It's one way you can tell on the eyes is the clowns. And then you got different shades too. I don't know if this one is just faded or what, but sometimes again cheap, so it doesn't really matter. Um. Got dogs. There's a one with a painted tongue, and most of them don't have painted tongues. So that's a variation that a lot of people are still looking for. It's kind of hard to find. Yeah. Um, get a buyout from somebody, and like this was in it. And also with the lambs, have different variations too. If you see the one on the left have black eyes, right. one on the right have blue eyes. And you also got like white heads, you got ivory heads, you got like different stem colors. The one that, the red ones, I don't think are legit combos, but I'm finding out from these, 
that in Europe, there's a lot of different variations that you never really know about because sometimes they don't get put on cards. Right. So even if I haven't seen pack it, I still have my collection because like I said, never really know with the European market, anything possible. Right. Never know when one will show up on a card too. Yeah, like the this white stem. I've never seen on card, and I was looking on eBay one day, and I actually found this one on a card. Wow! So I know white stem is actually a leg, definitely a legit combo. Yeah, that's awesome. Like, like these ones are uh, the these ones right here, the white stem penguin, black stem penguin. Orange tiger, yellow rhino, graystone donkey, and graystone camel, plus these two, the green stem frog and green stem rhino. All I've seen in packages or on card. So wow. I've seen all these are legit combos I know of. Wow, that's awesome. And what else? There's also pandas. See the panda on the right has removable eyes. The one on the left are just regular eyes. So those are a different variation you need to watch out for. Um, you got this panda back here, a little more hard to find, no feet, has removable eyes, removable nose, and removable ears. So That's awesome. That one I got, uh, I think, earlier this year. Other variations. So I'm saying to go down the rabbit hole, if you want every variation, you gotta look at the sleeves too. This one has a pink sleeve. Different color pink sleeve. Uh, yellow sleeves. Um, a white sleeve. And some of them are the colored buttons inside are all different colors. And one of my monkeys. Is this one? No. This one. ones with green arm sleeves. Wow. Green button. Um, and I found out another variation from Judy Messler. When I saw this one, she gave me a heart attack. Um, <laughs> because everybody keeps on sending me different variations and uh, find them now. Right here. See how the Pez is spread mm -hmm. apart? This one right here, close together. Right. And she saw these on card and stuff and sent me a picture of these. And so that's another variation I've been looking for. Wow. Really a rabbit hole. Um, yeah. Katie wants to know how many come with different color sleeves or how many different color sleeves have you found um, throughout all of them? I found yellow, pink, white, green, I think I, I 
might have seen a blue. Not hundred percent of that one, but I think that's basically it. And do you find it among all of them? You know, will I find a uh, camel with different color sleeves, or am I limited to the roosters and and uh, monkeys? Or most of them, you can find different camels. I think I don't think I've seen any camels, but I got some pigs that have different color sleeves. Oh wow, that one's cool. Yeah. And then I found out from another variation from the great Brian Trowman that there are thin feet ones that have the spine right here. Mm -hmm. And there's a transitional one that don't have spines. Oh, that's cool. So that's another variation. And we have a couple people asking us kind of when they were made. Um, you know, we have no foot ones, thin foot ones, transition ones, and thick foot ones. So it's kind of a wide range of time they were making Merry Music Makers. Yeah, I asked a couple people. I, I'm not very good on when things came out. But if anybody has any questions, there's like some other people out there like um, I know... Laspina, I've asked yeah. if you could good answer them. Um, Joe Paravati, because yeah. I'm, I'm not much of a, I just clocked them. I'm not good at the dates either. Um, Even if I did find out the dates, I'll probably forget them. Right. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but really, they're, you know, they're, they're older. You, you know, they're not making Merry Music Makers anymore. Um, yeah, there's some that I found out that if they're before a certain date, they, sh I mean, after a certain date, they will not come up no footed. Like the rhinos should not be no footed. The penguins shouldn't be no footed. Indians don't come no footed. Um, I think the clowns too shouldn't be foot no foot in. Right. Interesting. Okay, so we we got lambs, roosters, clowns, pandas. Um, let's talk about some of the variations and some of the other ones. And then we also got this one. This one's oh. actually yeah. a um, fancy piece. It was a clown made by Sylvia in one of her um, conventions. Mm -hmm. And she has, she made them, there's like crystal head ones, there's so many different variations. There's whistle ones, non-whistle ones. So I just got a couple of these that just to add to my collection. Right. Yeah, there are a ton of those. She made a bunch of them. Yeah, so I'm not going after those. I just want a couple. Yeah. Totally understand that. And then we got some of the harder variation ones. Some of these I think are test pieces, but like this one right here, this one I've been told shouldn't come green eyes, but there are some out there. So nobody really knows if it's a legit combo or not, but they should should be blue eyes be a little bit more money than once but i think it looks cool still um this one's actually my favorite it's the first time i've yeah. ever seen it. it's, it's awesome looking yeah uh joe Paravati had in one of his auctions before and i had to go after this one uh it came from brian jakowski's collection and he actually i had him write down where he got it from and he actually got it from dora dryer a former mm -hmm. pet employee mm -hmm. that had a bunch of like different test pieces and stuff so that's a cool story on that one 
and then got the yellowhead rooster. Mm -hmm. This one I've actually seen on card. I've seen one person have it on card, so. And then I got this one, orange head dog. Um, be careful with this one. There's actually somebody, I think from Austria or somewhere, that actually has been known to make like the darker red ones of these. Mm. So some of these are very, like, watch out for, like the black pig. Some of them are legit, but there's a lot of fakes out there that somebody made that what, from what I've told, there's some people that actually won't go after the black pigs because of that. Yeah. But, and found out from somebody that the only way you can write, tell if it's legit or not is it like, think, take a piece off and put it or like rub something on it and if it melts, it's legit. So basically to find out if it's legit, you have to ruin it. Yeah, back in the day, Chris Jordan was doing some of that testing. She would test on the inside of the head. Yeah. To see if it was real or not. Um, you have a uh, blue face pay plate penguin. Is that, that's um, the cool man is asking for that, John Devlin. This one right here? Yeah. This one I found on eBay. It, I think it's a, it has to be a fantasy piece. But I thought it looked cool and I got a good yeah. price. So, so I bought it. Wow. It does look cool. And then I got, cause I, I love penguins. So I had this one made. Oh yeah, of course. The penny, penny wrestler creation. She yeah, has good. Look, that looks awesome. Looks good like that. And then there's also a bunch that I don't have that I really do want. There's a like different color heads. There's a red head frog that I would like. There's also like if you look in the Spina's price guide, there's a pink head rhino. Mm -hmm. There's different color heads of the donkey. There's actually an owl. That's a little pricey, but you can, I don't know how to say it. You can basically go to your own discretion on that one. Right. Because like the story behind it, it is, it was made by Pez, but never math, never produced by Pez, this put out to But the story I've heard, there's a guy from overseas that got a, either hold of the pieces, the Pez, or the mold, I don't know what it is, that slowly puts them together and puts them out to the public. So, they are legit Pez pieces. Mm -hmm. If you want to spend that much money on something that wasn't actually put out like to the public by Pez, you can do that. Just, just figure out a lot of people know the story behind it. Yeah. But as people make their own conclusion on it. Absolutely. I still want one, but yeah, I, I want one. I don't have one. I knew the story, but I, yeah. I'd still like one. Um, but they are expensive because they're, they're, yeah. you know, gate, gate kept. Um, so we are, are running. You, we did go through almost 25 minutes. You have about, we have about five minutes left. So is there something else you want to show us in variations? Um, Before I open up for more questions from anybody. You guys can ask questions. All right. Yeah. If you guys have any other questions, um, Mary Sue, I'll correct you real fast. Uh, John, that's cool. Pez man is John Devlin. Um, 
John uh, Laspina does the the book, though I'm sure John Devlin could easily write a book if he'd like to. Um, there's always a lot of question about value of things. So kind of, you know, how much does someone expect to spend for some of these harder to find variations? What was that? How, how much could uh, someone expect to spend on some of the harder to find variations? You know, if, if I wanted to have a long, if any long nose penguin, how much should I pay for, you know, a long nose penguin for the common long nose penguin? Or, you know, if. Um, that one's anywhere like 35, 40 bucks for that one. Right. Um, dim variations that are hard to find. Um, depends on where you find them. Could go, because there's a lot of people that are still looking for them, especially if they're on card. Yeah. Like the green stem frog. I got in a bag. It's the only one I've ever seen. Yeah. So I paid pretty penny for that one. Um, some of the easier ones, like the green stem rhino, they're out there, but a lot of people have them, so they'll be a little bit cheaper. Um, sometimes you can get Benny Warren, some of the stuff, and then it could go higher. Uh, do you have, uh, do you do any on the cards? You know, there's the Euro Stripe cards, the Melody cards. I have some, where did I put them? Cause I'm, I usually don't go do card ones, but I yeah. did collect some. Fortunately, I don't know where I put them. That's okay. <laughs> but I do have the black stem penguin on card. I have the gray stem camo on card. Awesome. Uh, like I said, I got the white stem penguin on card, but it was nasty. So I actually released, I'm going to release it. But I took a picture yeah. before. Got that proof. Yeah, absolutely. So somebody wants to know if you only collect Mary Music Makers or do you collect other Pez? I, I know the answer, of course, but. <laughs> I collect a little bit of everything. Um, I'm different than most people. Most people, if they find it, they don't have it. They go after it. I go after a certain thing at a time. Like the first thing I went after was the black stems. Mm hmm. Oh, I started my vintage um, collection, which are back there on the case. Right. Oh, I think that's cool. That's awesome. Well, our, if there's no other questions, then we will move on. But Jason, thank you so much. If you know Jason's on Facebook, he's involved in things he's on the uh the wednesday and thursday night zoom calls a lot of times that we'll talk about later today um got to meet him this year it was great to meet you in person this year and um if you have any other questions i don't think people knew how many merry music makers there were i and uh 25 minutes flew by like nothing honestly i was actually shocked <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i think that we could probably go through look at Mary music makers for another 20 minutes and still be in awe how many there are in that. So very impressive collection. And thank you again so much. Thank you.